everyone, this is Victoria's Flutes, and I have a new flute, <laughs> yay! So it's been almost two years since I haven't talked to you. I think the last time I talked was in November of 2020. So I'm here with a review of a flute by Kyle Nydig. He is called the Flute Wizard, and what I got here is a wizardly walking stick. So today I'm going to be review it. And I'm going to use my notes on my phone because my memory is not that great. So it is a custom made flute and it's made out of bamboo. It's very long and you can use it as a walking stick when you walk. And I'll show you some of the videos that I have of me walking in the woods. So it also smells really nice. <laughs> when I opened it up when it came, it's just the smell was really wonderful. And I love the smell of bamboo. I love the color of bamboo, it matches my hair, <laughs> which is really good. Um, so the bamboo was kind of um, fire tempered, it was wood burned, so it gets a really nice sound. And it has really these cool sort of burned patterns that you can kind of see, I hope. And this flute is in the key of E Dorian. And, uh, E Dorian is basically D major, but you don't start on the first note, you start on the second note. But it also has um, E minor if you do this fingering. So I'll show you E Dorian. And then this is E minor. sound is produced. Um, what is really nice that I like about this food is it has small holes for my small fingers and it has sort of an ergonomic style of fingering where the holes are drilled. Instead of it being straight, it is sort of on the side here which is easier to grip. It is in the alto range, so it's sort of on the more lower, kind of nice tones that I really like. And sorry about that plane. So the, in the internal bore size of the flute is about one inch, and this is an agate stone that I have at the top. I haven't measured it the length. I think if you guys really need me to measure it, I will measure it. So it is tuned to concert pitch. And you can hold it fully the way I do, which is just hold it, holding it up like this. Or you can sort of pop it up on the ground, on a stone, on anything you find in nature, and you can just play it. Or you could use it as a walking stick when you're hiking. Um, let me see. So I'll be making more videos with this food in the summer when it warms up. I think I have a, a lot of good ideas what to do with it. <laughs> Another thing that I have written down here is that you can use it when you get older. So if you're an older person, you need a walking stick. This will be a perfect one. You can just bring it up and play it. It'd be really cool for your friends. Or um, Kyle Nydig, he can do some cool martial arts thing with this food and I'll probably include a video of that. <laughs> Maybe I will try and learn some martial arts with this food as well. So yeah, hopefully that was a quick uh, flute review. This is my first time review with it. Especially in nature, it has been a lot of different distractions going out in and there. I also want to add that these are made out of leather, they're just sort of a nice touch to the flute. At the end is a rubber stick and it's pretty steady and very nice. The flute is pretty light, so even though it looks long and sort of heavy, it isn't really. It's made out of bamboo, so it's very lightweight. And at the end here, there's these holes. So when I blow the air from here, some of it goes out here and then it goes out of these holes. 
but instead of it sort of where it needs to escape, it escapes out of here. So it doesn't go fully down the bamboo stick. So I think that is it. I, I've added a couple more details at the end. Sorry about that first time. So once again, I want to thank Kyle Nydick for sending me this beauty. I love the sound. It's very warm, has a nice tone. And please check out his Etsy shop. That's where he sells his flutes, which I'll link in the description of this video. And on his Etsy shops, there's a lot of different flutes out of different materials. Like there's, he once made a mushroom ocarina, which is really cool. He just has so much stuff on there. And so don't forget to follow him on Instagram as well, which I'll provide in the link of the description. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel. What I really like is that when he makes these flutes, he also makes a music video on the side so you can hear how they sound, which is really nice. I really like that flute makers make music videos with the flutes that they make. So at least you can sort of get a sense of what the flute sounds like. And yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> if you have any more questions, please let me know. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> that is it. Bye.